morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome. It's Kate Bold, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK, ready for another Coffee and Cards Facebook Live this lovely Tuesday morning. How is everyone? How are you all? <clears throat> Do excuse me. <clears throat> I've got a frog in my throat this morning. I am just waiting. Good morning, Jen. I'll just wait a little while, see if anyone hops on and joins us for Coffee and Cards. It's a bit dull. I've got the lights on. I've got the blinds open. Hi, Claire. Lovely to have you. Um, yes, but I'm holding my camera, so I'm really hoping I've got it nice and still. Uh, and then we'll turn the camera around. I'll pop it in the tripod to do some crafting. I'm looking forward to this morning's coffee and cards. We have got this beautiful stamp set to use. It's called Gorgeous Leaves, um, and it's in our mini catalogue, and it's really beautiful. Ah, oh, lovely to see you guys. It's really lovely to see you. So it's been a bit busy here this morning because uh, Jacob, I've only just dropped him to school because he had an appointment. He had a consultant follow-up appointment this morning and they do it via Teams, which is really useful. Um, and then I just dropped him into school, which is just up the road. So oh, all is well. So that might be why I was a minute or two late, but hopefully not too late for you. Uh, the weather's changing, isn't it? Oh, I've got my coffee here. Hold on. Mm. I hope uh, you have a drink. It is coffee and cards after all. The weather has been absolutely stunning here in Buckinghamshire. It's been beautiful for the last couple of weeks. And then yesterday we had torrential rain and wind and I knew it was coming, um, but it really is starting to look autumnal because of it. So I drove out yesterday um, doing the school run and the supermarket shop and I could see, you know, the leaves turning. I picked up some conkers. It's really lovely. And I thought, well, we've had a lovely September, haven't we? And normally it's turned by now, so we're very lucky. So I thought we'd use this lovely leaves one because it's turning autumnal. Hi, Janice. Lovely of you to join me. My, I'm getting a sore arm. I normally pop the camera in my tripod, which is probably a much better idea. So how are you all? Have you got any news for me this week? I will turn the, hi Karen, lovely of you to join me. I will turn the camera around, but I will just check on my laptop that I'm live in the right spot. So just give me a second to turn that on. He likes to go to sleep. Go. Here we go. Uh, let's go into Facebook. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing with this stamp set. I have um, a little story behind the stamp set. So I did not buy it. I won this stamp set. So a week last Sunday, I went to a big uh, team event, my wider team. We held a big event and we all got together and that was our first big gathering for oh, nearly two years. Hi Sue, are you new? Well, lovely welcome to you. Uh, lovely to have you. Um, yes, yeah, so it was the first one in a couple of years at this event and we had such a lovely time. I spoke about it last week. We made, good morning Hilary, we made lots of lovely projects but most of all we caught up because we make such a lot of friends through Stamping Up and we keep in touch over the internet and we haven't been able to meet for such a long time. So it was amazing. We did do some crafting as well and we had a massive raffle and I won this gorgeous stamp set in the raffle. It has, oh you're from Birmingham, excellent. Um, and it has a lovely die, die set with it. I don't have the dies yet, but obviously I'm gonna be getting the dies now because they're so lovely. Right, let me just check that I'm live in the right place because looking at this, I might not be. That's really odd. I hope I am. I don't think I've managed to go live on my personal profile before, but there's always the first time. Yeah, no, I'm live in the right place. Oh, hooray for that. Hooray. Ah, oh, so are you a demonstrator, Sue, or are you a crafter? Tell me what you are. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll still be able to see your comments. So just hang fire while I do this. You can see my lovely stamp set. Let's grab this. All those nice stamps. Okay. 
You don't want to see my coffee, do you? <laughs> right, let's bring this in. I've moved my grid paper since I last had my tripod out when I was doing um, live la on what day it was, Friday, in the demonstrator, United Kingdom demonstrator uh, Facebook group. We did a, I did a live because I'm on the, the demonstrator council, very lucky, and we did a live using some of the kits from the new kit collection. You're a crafter, but I'm, but you're slow. Well, that's fine, Sue. That's it's nice um, to craft, and there's no rush. There's never any rush. And if sometimes I do go a little bit fast, um, yeah, don't worry. It'll still be available to watch on replay afterwards if you want to go back and watch things again. That's that's always going to be there, which is cool. Hello, Zaina. Lovely of you to join us. Okay, I'll be able to see the comments on here. So that's a little bit better and I can get a general idea of what you're seeing so you get a better shot. Okay, so we've got the gorgeous leaves stamp set and it's absolutely beautiful. I'm always drawn to this kind of set. Hadn't got it yet. It's in the mini catalogue. It's on page 47. So uh, yeah, here it is. It's called Gorgeous Leaves. And it has an intricate leaves dies as well. So you can get it as a bundle. So bundle being the stamp set and the dies. If you buy them together like that, it's a, a bundle number and you save 10%. But so it's got these gorgeous stamps here. And then it's got these beautiful dies. Can you see those? Aren't they stunning? And they're intricate. Look at those leaves. And you can see some of the projects that they've shown you that you could make. They've made some for inspiration using those beautiful leaves. So I'm just going to play with a stamp set for coffee and cards this morning. I think that will be fun. And uh, yeah, let's have a go. I love this. Now, morning, morning, Zaina. I've got some thick whisper white as a card base. Let's see which one am I going to do first. Okay, I'm going to go for one with a Cajun craze layer because it feels very autumnal yes that's right there's no hurry with crop that's the good thing about crafting is you can do it whenever you like fast or as slow as you like it's meant to be fun isn't it meant to enjoy it okay so here we go here's my layers now I think I've made that piece of cardstock the wrong size <laughs> what a start unless that's not the one let's grab another one I think I just made something the wrong size on there. Yeah, I'm definitely doing some. Oh, maybe it's this piece that's wrong. Let's grab my trimmer and measure what I've done here. So I need this piece to be 10. Oh, I think I've made it too small. 10 by 14.3. Now that's the right size. So this one should then be... 9.5 oh yes that's too big 9.5 by 13.8 so that's the right size that way so that's what was going on there that's all nice now i might have done the same with the other one let me just check you get a size in your head don't you and you stick to it <laughs> yeah i did the same when i cut that to prep it that's right okay good not sure about that white piece we'll have a look at it when we come to it okay so i'll tell you about my card bases i always use an a4 piece of card and depending on the fold i want is where i score it so this one is a tent fold card hello helen how are you and i've taken my piece of a4 white cardstock and i've scored it in half and i've got long ways here and i've scored it at 14.9 and then turned it round and I've cut, or 14.8 really, and I've cut it, cut it at 10.5 to make a tent fold card. So it sits up a bit like a little tent. And then I picked out Cajun Craze, and that's one of the inks I'm going to be using as well. And because this now measures 10.5 by 14.8, I've made this 10 by 14.3. So I've just taken off half a centimetre off one edge and then the other edge. And it gives you that nice little border. And then my stamping panel, I've done the same. So I've made that 9.5 
by 13.8 and that makes the next layer down that's quite a common one for me that I like and this is our stamping panel so let's go for that now I'm going to do mine this way around it's going to be a landscape card and it's going to open like that right now this is such a nice stamp set um, I'm going to use this lovely wood grain effect first to create a background and I used crumb cake for that one oh, so is anybody crafting along with me I would love to know if anybody is doing any crafting with me this morning doing your own thing making a similar card let me know oh just stuck my fingers in it not the plan so I want this crumb cake to be really light because I'm going to stamp leaves over the top. So I'm going to stamp it off. It's called second generation stamping and I'm going to stamp it slightly up a little bit here on the left. And then I'm going to ink it up again, stamp it off. And then I'm going to turn this round. And I think it'll kind of match a little bit, overlap it a little bit. And then you've got your wood grain kind of centered in the middle there. Let's shut this one up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Move my stamp out of the way. Right, what are we going to go for next? So I've got the three leaves. We've got this one. And they're so pretty. And I've got this one and I've got this one. So there's three leaves in this set. Okay, so I have chosen Cajun Craze. You're having a quick break from clearing out the garage. You've got to have a break from clearing out the garage, Helen. Otherwise, it just overwhelms. Because if your garage was anything like ours, I think I took four, four, no, was it four? No, two, only two this time. Two car loads of rubbish to the skip when I cleared it out last, the week before last. It's all cardboard and rubbish. Oh, Joe, that's not lazy. It's just nice to sit and watch, isn't it? Right. Okay, so I'm going to randomly, randomly I say, I've randomly picked some different kind of autumnal colours and I'm going to stamp them along this nice wood background. So how beautiful is that? And it has all those like little splatters around the outside. It's kind of a distressed look. I really love it. Let's put that one there. And then I chose... I did decide which colours I was going to use where I started. I picked an evening evergreen. That's one of our new ink colours for this year. I love this. It's going to be a great Christmassy colour as well. Um, I'm going to stamp. Oh, he's on his fourth trip already this morning. That's amazing. Tell him to keep going. What a, what a legend he is. Right. And I've got that one there. I'm slightly overlapping them. So that's that colour. And then I went for another of our new ink colours. This one's called Soft Succulent. Really like this muted green. And then I'm going to put that one next to it like that. Oh, I had a little gap. So don't have a little gap in yours. And then we will put, I don't think it matters. We will put another one of the smaller ones. So I need to clean this one in between. Got my stamping scrub next to me here. Make sure it's clean. I think my stamping scrub needs a clean as well. Right, we are using crushed curry. I really like this colour and I hardly ever, ever use it. And I don't know why. It's a great autumn colour on the ends there. I do have a gap that's annoying me now. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that. Now I'm going to put my sentiment on and then we're going to layer the card up. Now, this is a beautiful stamp set, but it has no sentiments. It's all leaves. It's got background splatters. It's got wood grain. It's got these little splatters as well. Um, so I think I'm going to put... I've put, picked out the garden bird houses because I really like this, this kind of scribbly font on it. So find any stamp sets you've got in your stash and uh, whatever sentiment you like and just pop it on. So I'm going to use the hello and I'm going to decide what colour to do it in. And I think, now let's see, 
We're going to have it on Cajun craze, like that. So I think I'm going to use this, it's either this one or this one. I think I'm going to use the Evening Evergreen. So grab that colour back out. God, you won't know yourself when you have all that space in your garage, Helen. Let's give it a test stamp. Oh, I don't know if I should do it in that colour, actually. Yeah, let's go for the softer colour and see how that works. Soft succulent. Let's give this one a clean. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's much better than the very dark green, I think. So I'll put those colours out of the way. Now we've used them. And put this one on here. Oh, I don't have any glue out. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Let's grab some. So the dog... Oh, I think that's empty. I need to find see if I've got a brand new... is asleep behind me on the floor he snuck in as we started good morning jenny lovely of you to join us yes he snuck in and he's asleep on the floor behind my chair he likes to join us he's a bit of a crafty pooch <laughs> every week when I was doing the live in the Facebook group for the Stamping Up Demonstrators on Friday, I had to have the door open and people could see him going up the stairs. Because if I don't let him in, he he opens the door handle. <laughs> He's a very clever dog. Um, but he makes a great clattering noise to do it. So I thought it was just a lot calmer to have the door open. <laughs> and you could just see him wandering up the stairs through the door. He's a right character. Okay, so that's the front of our card done. And I'm going to layer it up on the card here. <coughs> Excuse me. Dear me. And then there's this little background stamp that I rather like. Thank you, Jenny. And I'm going to stamp that inside. And I think I'm going to use this Cajun craze colour again. You could easily... Oh, I could show you a trick, a tip. Let's do it that way. Yes, so I'm going to grab my Stampin' Right markers, these many marvellous markers, and I'm going to see what colours I can find in here. That one is Cajun Craze, that's very useful. Um, crushed Curry, that's very useful. And then, Soft Succulent, so grab out your markers if you've got any of those, and you can colour on your red rubber stamps it works really well use the fat brush tip end and go using the side of it colour over your stamp so we can do I think I'll do the um, crushed curry this one like so and then this one now, when you get to the end of colouring them in, the first one might have dried. So you just need to huff on them. Now, I, I suggest in these times you be careful about huffing on other people's stamps, but it's your own. <sighs> Give them a huff, and then we're going to see how it works. Let's hope, because I'm going to do it straight on the inside of the card. Oh, yeah, look at that. Could have done with a little bit more ink, but it's beautiful. I'm going to do that again the other way up. Like that. A 
And then I'm not going to write inside this card because I've just put hello on the front. So when I come to send this to my friend, I can write my message inside. Or if I find a little stamp saying a nice sentiment, I'll pop that on there. But I'm going to leave it blank for now. I'm just going to put the nice leaves inside. Right, let's stamp that at the top. There, how beautiful. And they look like they're whirling in the wind. Right, let's stick this one on. The markers are amazing, Sue. So you can buy the colour families as well. So you can get the many marvellous markers in one big pack or you can get the colour families separately. But they're really good. Very useful. There we go. So there's our first card. Now, I did pull out some, some gems because... I do like a little bit of bling and I've got some of the metallic adhesive backed dots which are in our mini castle. Aren't they beautiful? They're gorgeous. I love these. So I'm going to put a couple of those on just to finish the card off. You grab my tool. My take your pick tool is so useful for this because I can just pull them off. And I think I'm going to go for these colour. Like that. Like that. And then another random one. There. That's it. And that's our first card completed. So very simple. It's literally, there's no dyes, there's no embossing, there's no dry or heat embossing, there's no any odd techniques, no extra supplies. We've got stamp, ink and paper and an embellishment, simple stamping for coffee and cards, but it's beautiful, isn't it? Love this set, gorgeous stamps. Right, we're gonna make another one using the same set, very similarly. Right, let's see what my layers are doing. <laughs> right, I've got another base. So this one I did, it was a tent fold, but I brought it sideways like this. Okay, and this one, is um, exactly the same, if you like. It's a piece of A4 card. I've scored it at 10.5 centimetres and then I've cut it in half at 14.8. So exactly the same, but just the other way around. Definitely simple stamping, Jenny, yeah. And then I have got, oh, I might have done my layers the wrong, wrong size. So that one, yeah, let's have another go at this. So this one should be 10. Well, I don't think I've done it at 10. No, that one's too short. Let's grab another piece. 10 centimetres. And this is in soft succulent. So that same ink colour that I was using just now but in the cardstock by 14.3. So half a centimetre smaller. So you just cut it on the two sides. And now that will nest nicely for a border on our card base. And then our stamping panel needs to be a half centimetre smaller again. So that's 9.5 by 13.8 centimetres. That one's already practically there. Okay, good. So this is our stamping panel. Morning, Amanda. Oh, thank you, Joe. That's very kind of you. Ah, oh, from warm and sunny Spain. Is it lovely and warm there again? How nice is that? Do you know what? The sun has just come out here. It's beautiful. I might have to take the crafty dog out for a walk in the sunshine afterwards. Right, now, we're going to have a bit of fun with this one as well. Right, now I've picked out some of the colours, a very similar uh, card we're going to make. I've picked out uh, Cinnamon Cider, um, Mango Melody and Mint Macaron. Just make, if you have this stamp set or one similar, just make any colours that you like, that you have. Okay, and I've picked out Balmy Blue as well, because I'm going to do background stamping in Balmy Blue. And I've picked out this lovely, I don't know what this is. It just looks like loads of splatters or splodges. And it kind of reminded me of raindrops, rain spots. So I thought we'd have our leaves in the rain. 
because it's autumn and it gets a little bit like that. So I'm going to use this one, again having a landscape card, and I will stamp in the same way as I did last time, slightly up and to the right, because that leaves me a little bit more of a gap for my sentiment at the bottom. And then this way on the other side, actually, should I overlap it? I'll just leave a gap there. And then what I think I'll do is I'll stamp off. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to stamp off. I prefer that. Let's try again. Okay, let's move these back. The stamping off looks so much nicer. Can you see? Okay. Okay, I've stamped it off. Let's do it again. Oh, yeah, I like that so much better. Yes. Bring it right to the edge if you can a little bit both sides to give you a bit of extra texture all right so now we're going to get the leaves going and the leaves are going to be sitting in the raindrops so we're going to go with cinnamon cider to begin with love this color this is one of our in colors as well trendy colors i love it it's really autumnal oh my stamping scrub definitely needs a wash it's coming out different colours that we don't want it to be. So I'll show you my stamping scrub in a minute so you can get an idea of what I'm using to clean my stamps with. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp my first, my middle stamp first so that I can centre the leaves in the way they should be so then they're all evenly spaced on the, on the um, card, if you like. Right, Bumblebee is in the middle. That's what I'm going to do with this nice long one. And I'm going to centre it right in the middle there. So pretty, isn't it? Oh, thanks, Zaina. I love this stamp, this splattery stamp. And then I think I did... Oh, yeah, and that's when I used the cinnamon cider next to it. Like that. And then I used mint macaron. Mint macaron, such a pretty one. And I did it in that big leaf. I don't know if it's a maple leaf. <laughs> Look how dirty my scrub is. That's after I've cleaned it, so that's no good, is it? <laughs> and I'll show you in just a second. So, mint. How gorgeous. Just beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so we are going to put a sentiment on that. And I picked out another stamp set that I had in my stash. It is the Lovely You stamp set. This is great. You might have seen me using this because I've used it an awful lot over the time that it's been around. It's current in the current cat uh, annual catalogue. Look at these. It's got Smile, Trust Me You're Lovely, uh, Cherished Friend, Miles Apart, basically my heart, heartfelt. You are my person just because and always. And then there's lovely florals. Definitely could do that, Zaina. So Zaina just suggested that um, you could take your stamp and using an ink dauber, you could da daub different coloured inks on the leaf because um, it's that time of year when the leaves all change colours. That would be beautiful. That would be great. So what did I, I already choose, chose a stamp? Oh, I chose just because, so I thought it was very useful. Right, now let's see. I'm going to put that on there. And that on there, I'm just deciding what colour. And I think I'm going to go for, where am I going to stamp it? Here. I think I'm going to stamp it at the top because it will flow. You know how your eye likes to read things from right to left? So if you have something up here and it comes down in a nice natural progression, it's really pleasing to the eye. So I think I'm going to do it and I think I'm going to do it in, shall I try mint? Because I've got soft succulent cardstock and I've got mint macaron. I might do it, I don't know what colour to do it in. <laughs> I might try the bumblebee. I can't work out and make up my mind. 
It's not Bumblebee. This one is Mango Melody telling you stories. Might be a bit strong. Let's have a think. Yeah, I think we're going to go for mint. Change my mind. Is that a woman's prerogative? <laughs> Anyone's prerogative. Okay. Just because. <laughs> right, just because. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. What colour is the first leaf? The first leaf is cinnamon cider. But because I'm putting it right here, I think it'd be too close to it. Mint, 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 mint. <laughs> Joe, you're right. We're going mint. Sorry. I'm procrastinating. I'm terrible at procrastinating. Well, I'm very good at procrastinating, actually. <laughs> so just because it's going here. Oh, yes. Ta-da. That's our ta-da moment. need to smooth that edge down there we go let's put some glue on it okay little bits when you get a new glue and it all shoots out but it's quite satisfying having a brand new one so this stamp and die set so the whole bundle it's one of our free bundles at the moment when you join Stampin' Up! in Celebration. Celebration is the promotion we've got going on until the end of the month, which is actually on, I think Thursday is the last day of September. So it ends on Thursday. And if you choose your starter kit, you can choose any items you like from either of the catalogues to make it up. Um, but on top of all of that that you get, you get actually... What you normally get is £130 worth of any goodies you like from either catalogue you choose for £99. But on top of that at the moment, you get one of 12 bundles for free. A bundle being a stamp and a die set or a stamp and a bunch, something like that. And uh, there's 12 to choose from. And the gorgeous leaves and the intricate leaves dies are one of those. So if you like it and you want lots of freebies because you'll get your freebies already because you're getting a good deal on the start kit and then you get your bundle that's so cool isn't it so if you want that and you want to join my team you can find the link over on my website at ink stamp shared off ink and it's really simple and if you've got any questions just email me or do the contact there's a contact me over there or just just pop a little message if you want to join my lovely, lovely team. There's no obligation to, to demonstrate or sell, but you might just love this starter kit with the extra goodies, but it's only th Thursday, it stops on the 30th. So don't miss out if you like it. All right, now I did this one on the inside, but I think this time I'm just gonna do a couple of these leaves in the colors, because I love them. We have got Mango Melody. Cinnamon cider, haven't we? I think we'll go for that mint one. Mint all through. There we go. Yeah, such a good deal. Pop that one there. Oh, so pretty. So ladies, what's your favorite stamp set at the moment? Or what have you used to craft with? Tell me what you've been using or what you've been loving. I'd love to know. I've been playing with all sorts, to be honest. Like this one. And then just that little cinnamon cider one we're going to pop on there what have you been using there we go so just overlap it a little bit under there and then I put just because and I'm just going to leave the uh, inside free so that you can write your message in there. 
So let's put a couple of those gems on it. I think it looks great. I think it looks like the... You're new to Stampin' Up. Oh, well, welcome to the Stampin' Up family, Sue. Welcome. You like the painted Christmas sweet, Jen. It is absolutely stunning. I don't actually have it, but let me show you. Yes, don't glass. I don't have everything in the catalogue. I know you probably think I do. Like almost, maybe. But yeah, no, no, you don't need everything. Right, painted Christmas is in this mini one. Somewhere. All these beautiful things. We have it. Oh, Zaina, don't we all? We all want to go on forever, but you know, we can't go on forever. We just that's all right. You can live on bread and butter, <laughs> bread and jam. Oh, here it is. It's so so beautiful. So this is a painted Christmas suite. Look at those papers; they are gorgeous. And then there's this whole suite has a st uh, two stamps and two die sets. It has the gold foil leaves, it has the ribbon. And yeah, it's just gorgeous. Those dyes are just beautiful. So there's some of the projects that people have made with this, with this suite. And I know Jen's done a lot with it and it looks so beautiful. Yeah, I just have a rather a lot of Christmas sets now, but there's more of it, you can see. It's so lovely. Yeah, so if you're not in my Ink Stamp Share Your Craft um, Facebook group, um, do pop over, just look that up on Facebook, Ink Stamp Share Your Craft. You do need to answer the questions, they're just normal questions, nothing funny about those. Um, and then if you, uh, yeah, it'll pop an invite for me to, to let you in and then you can come in and you can see lots of inspiration and what everyone's been making and you can share your projects. It's a fun one. So do come and join my little crafting group. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's that. And I know that, um, some of the ladies on here share their stuff. I know, I think Jen, have you shared any of yours in that group? The Painted Christmas, but, um, yeah, do, do come and have a look. Right, some gold ones to make it pop. I might just move that one. You never know where to put these. I always procrastinate over where I'm putting my gems. Don't stick them down too hard and then you can always move them. There we are. That's a little bit less contrived, I think. So, oh, don't worry, Jen. I was talking about the um, my customer group. Don't worry, sorry, I shouldn't have been doing that. <laughs> there we are. Those are the two different uh, cards I made with this stamp set this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. That's very kind of you. Yeah, so you can see how different it looks with the background and with the different colour inks. Um, and that's just a little stamps, ink and paper, very simple stamping with one embellishment, no um, added extra. So you can imagine if you use the dies or you do some techniques with it, you could create all sorts of beautiful things. So if you like the stamp set, do find it in my online shop at kate.bolt.stampingup.net. No, that's not right at all. It's katebolt.stampinup.net. But if you go over to my website, inkstampshare.ink, you'll find the links and everything else over there. So, ladies, I think we're done for today. That's our two cards. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, and, yeah, thank you very much for being here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be live on Friday again this week. Uh, I might have to have a jiggle about with what I'm doing on a Friday and I may need a date change because it seems to be clashing with family commitments rather a lot. So it may be that I 
to be consistent and you know where I'm coming, I might have to change it to a different night, but that's under consideration. Um, but you can find all my YouTube videos over there. So if you're watching me on replay, do let me know and say replay down below. And if you like the cards, I would love to know. And if you are watching me on YouTube, thank you so much. And please give me a th thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because that really helps me a lot. Thank you, ladies. And yeah, let me know what you've been crafting. Take care and I'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Have a lovely day. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Amanda. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.